I must admit my confusion. I do not understand why petitions are being heard over a settled succession. The only one present who might offer keener insight into Lord Corliss's wishes is the Princess Rhaenys. Indeed, Your Grace. It was ever my husband's will that Driftmark pass through Selenor to his true-born son, Lucerus Valarian. His mind never changed, nor did my support of him. As a matter of fact, the Princess Rhaenyra has just informed me of her desire to marry her sons Jace and Luke to Lord Corliss's granddaughters, Baylor and Rhaena. A proposal to which I heartily agree. Well, the matter settled. Again, I hereby reaffirm Prince Osiris of House Valarian is heir to Driftmark, the Driftwood Throne, and the next Lord of the Tides. <laughs> you break law and centuries of tradition to install your daughter as heir. Yet you dare tell me who deserves to inherit the name Valarian. No. I will not allow it. Allow it. Do not forget yourself, Payman. That! is no true Valarian, and certainly no nephew of mine. Go to your chambers, you have said enough. Lucerys is my true-born grandson, and you no more than the second son of Driftmark. You may run your house as you see fit, but you will not decide the future of mine. My house survived the doom, and a thousand tribulations besides. And gods be damned. I will not see it ended on the account of this. Say it. Her children. Ah, bastards! And she is a whore. I will have your tongue for that. He can keep his tongue. Disarm him! Many... Call the maesters! Father. Please, my love, you must take something for the pain. I will not close my mind. I must put things right. Uh, 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 uh,